Hello, everybody. I'm doing this on my computer, and I can't totally tell if it's working. I'll just start talking. I'm Molly from Breathe Physical Therapy and Wellness, and I like to get on here and talk about things. If I have a couple people coming in the clinic with the same story, I like to get on and share with it because some things just go around, <laughs> even if it's not contagious. So today I want to talk about dizziness and it may or may not be in an inner ear problem so give me the heart or something or like if you've recently especially last year had some dizziness that you couldn't explain that didn't fit a pattern things like that so the first thing to get out of the way for why a lot of people feel dizzy and especially if they don't know what else is going on is the obvious things water how's your water intake alcohol caffeine sleep patterns, stress, huge trigger for dizziness. Um, if you've had any medication changes, things like that, those are a good checklists to go through and a lot of things can be solved for dizziness from that. Um, the next thing is, let's talk about BPPD. So that is one of the most common um, problems that people that are dizzy will have. And that is the thing with the little crystals on the inside of your ear that are in the little canals when they slip out from where they're not supposed to be. So that could be maybe you hit your head or maybe you had some kind of virus or infection or maybe you don't know why it happened. Sometimes we don't, we can't attribute it to anything, but those little crystals get in the wrong canal and that sends messages to your brain that doesn't know where your body is in space. And that um, you usually feel like you rolled out of bed and you sat up and all of a sudden the world was spinning or you were driving and you checked your blind spot and then all of a sudden you were super dizzy. Um, in those cases, especially if you turn one direction, that is easy for us to treat and um, that's the inner ear problem. But a lot of people lately are coming in with dizziness and it is 90% super tight neck muscles. So um, this, sorry, this is going to be attractive. There's a muscle in the front of your neck, your sternocleidomastoid. Um, this muscle comes from shoulder and collarbone and it comes up behind your ear. If this muscle is tight, it makes you feel awful. Dizzy, um, nauseous can make you really, really feel awful. So um, one thing to watch is if you're sitting, you know, don't be looking down at your phone or on your computer with your head forward all the time. That's why we're always talking about give yourself 97 double chin. So bring your head back um, to give that some relief. The stretch for this, you can't see my hand, but I'm going to tuck my hand under my bum. And if I want to stretch this side, I'm going to tip my ear away. So I'm going to tip right ear to right shoulder, and then I'm going to turn to look up at the ceiling, and this is very intense. So do it super, super slow, and you get a really big, nice stretch for that, um, the SCM, or the sternocleidomastoid. And if you're in a dizzy spell, though, do it really, really, really slow, because it can kind of throw you off. So just gently work it, and see, and compare sides. So then I'm going to try the other side tip, and look up to the ceiling. Um, so I've been seeing that a lot. Or if you are one of these people that's kind of got your head crooked a little bit, so the back of your neck is kind of flexed all the time and crunched, you go to get your hair done and you get your hair washed in the bowl and you lie down and you get super dizzy, that can be tight muscles and it can also be um, vertebral artery stuff. So definitely feeling, if you're feeling viz dizzy, dizzy because you're busy, aren't we all? Um, and you kind of don't really know why, please go to a physical therapist. We can help figure out like exactly what's happening, especially if it's vague. And a lot of times we can treat your neck muscles, especially with dry needling. It works so, so, so well for um, stopping the dizziness because we do not have time for that. It is sunny out today. I am so excited the sun's finally out. So we want to get outside and start enjoying life again. So please um, leave me a comment if you have any questions about dizziness or anything that's going on. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is um, sometimes to get over the hump using, you know, we love essential oils here. So peppermint oil or ginger oil um, behind your ear. You can try that. And tis the season for allergies, right? Allergies can definitely cause a dizziness flare. So check in with your allergies. 
Um, you can use the oil. So we love like lavender, lemon, and peppermint for allergies or ginger for dizziness. Or you could try an over-the-counter. If you're a person that takes over-the-counter medications, you could try um, an allergy med and see how you feel. But if you think it might be these tight muscles to blame, especially the sternocleidomastoid, please come see us and we would love to help you with that. And I don't know how to turn off. Oh, there it is. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.